Hey, what's up? My name is Devin, and what I'm going to show you in under two minutes is how the three triangles in Giza actually have power to them. This is going to be very quick, all right? So just follow along. Here we go. First off, anybody that knows me knows that nine is the most important number. Now, if you don't know this yet, I'll explain it very, very simply. If you were to add one through eight, you get 36. Three plus six is nine. If you were to add one through nine, you get 54. I'm sorry, uh, 45 and four plus five is nine, all right? That's simple. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, they are the only singular numbers. Once you get past nine, you get into 10. One plus zero is one. One plus one with 11 is two. Uh, 12 is one plus two is three. So you start getting into dualistic numbers. There are only nine solid singular numbers and nine is the highest you can get, all right? So on top of that, there are also three spiritual numbers. They are 27, which is a 9. They are 54, which is a 9, and they are 108. If you want to know more about these numbers, go ahead and research them. 27, 54, and 108. All right, but for this, I'm going to go quick. So we're going to go ahead and find 258 by removing 741 from the three most holy numbers. Remove the 7, remove the 4, remove the 1, leaves you with 2, 5, and 8. Same thing happens. If you were to go ahead and remove the 2, 5, 8, remove the 2, you get a 7. Remove the 5, you get a 4. Remove the 8, you get a 1. All right? That is why I wrote these numbers right here. These are very important numbers, and I'm going to show you why. If the three most holy numbers that are not tied to each other in any way and are tied to 9s, but when you remove these numbers, give you their actual numbers, I'd say that's pretty cool. But it gets even better, because if you were to go ahead and take your cell phone, that has, actually I'm not going to draw all the little boxes, we're just going to go ahead and number them out. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. Everybody can look at their cell phone and see this is a dial pad. All right. The very first pattern you're going to see is going to be 741. Well, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like it is going up. This is 741 is giving it is going up it is the giving energy okay next one we're going to look at is going to be two five and eight this is going down now does this mean it's evil and wrong it does not mean it's evil and wrong what it is telling you is that it is the receiver of the giving energy all right receiver and it is going that way and that leaves you with three, six, and nine, and three, six, and nine are going to be neutral. They are the creation energy. They do not care what is actually being created because it is all neutral, all right? So that is really awesome because in Egypt, you've got three different pyramids, and we don't quite understand what they mean, but we do know that they hold energy. We also know that anybody who has been studying uh, basically um, the Kabbalah or the Zohar know that you are looking for the giver, the receiver, and the other energy that was outside of it. So if you were to draw a, not the greatest at this, uh, three triangles on top of each other and they were to rotate in a certain pattern, you would end up with a star tetrahedron. And a star tetrahedron is the most healthy thing that you can meditate and visualize when you're in meditation. It protects you from your head to your feet. Doesn't not talking about protecting you from evil or anything like that. I'm talking about centering yourself, creating something around yourself that allows you to be safe so that you can explore. That is what a star tetrahedron does. That's what it allows you to do. So again, promise this is going to be really quick. So let's sum up really quick. The three most holy numbers are 27, 54, and 108. And when you are to take 258, which is on your cell phone, I'm not reaching here, 258, uh, and you remove it from this number, you end up with, uh, sorry, 741. And when you pull the 741, you end up with 25 and 8. All right. All this information has been on your cell phone the whole entire time. This is also if you want to study vortex math or Tesla. You will also find this information, but you'll find it in a circle that looks like this, that has points that look like this, and it's basically one, two, four, eight, seven, five, and one. All right. 
all this information is located in what Tesla was saying, but it's also located at your fingertips on your cell phone, and it's also located in Egypt in three different pyramids. All right, you're looking for energy. Why does this matter? This matters because I see a whole entire world that is freaking out about evil and wrong and all of these different things. And what you don't understand is that there is no evil or wrong. There is giving energy, receiving energy, and creative energy. And if you pull too much on something, you pull away from the giving energy. And if you pull away from the giving energy, you create a separation. Create a separation and fill it with darkness. That's exactly what you're doing. Everything that you think is wrong or evil is something you just don't understand. There's a vast ocean of information out there, and we are only putting one plank after another after another on a dock of understanding. Open your mind and get your nine vibes alive.